Hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. How are you? This is your girl Zingaya, and welcome to my channel, Seiko Tarot. How's everybody doing out there today? I hope everybody's feeling good, looking good, acting right, pocket tight, you know, because that's how we're giving it up over here on uh, Seiko Tarot. All right, um, and of course, me, your girl Zingaya. It's going to bring it to you today. All right. Um, we are here to do the reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Taurus the bull. Taurus the bull. And, of course, this is the goddess channel. This is uh, a platform that I created uh, where I attempt. Well, where I will. Um, I'm going I'm to take out attempt where I will. Um, be giving women the the push to love themselves, give themselves self-love, you know what I'm saying? Propel themselves back on the throne so we can um, get this world out of the chaos and madness that it's in. And I know y'all feel the energy. I know y'all feel the energy shift. The divine feminine is taking over. The matriarch is taking over. She's taking her rightful place, ladies. We're doing good. We are healing ourselves. We're not going for this bullshit. We are not looking outside ourselves to give ourselves acceptance or self-approval. We're looking to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And we're not putting up. We're not going to get along to get on. You know, we're not going to uh, get along, you know, uh, get along to get on. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing that no more. We're not doing it no more. Okay, um, we're empowering ourselves, ladies. We're healing ourselves, ladies. And we're healing ourselves. We're healing the generation that comes after us, ladies. And that's what we need to do. Great job, ladies. Kudos. I love you all. And I'm happy to be amongst you. I'm happy to do my part in um, healing women. That's, f that's fulfilling for me. Um, I have a life, pur life purpose, and that is what I was sent here to do. And um, I'm going to do it. No matter what obstacles uh, that may come up, no matter how many people try to stop me or silence me, uh, I'm going to speak out. You know, the divine gave me... Um, my tools of healing for a reason and i'm going to use it not because i say so because the divine says so and i'm always obedient okay and like i said <coughs> this is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of taurus taurus the bull okay um this is earth energy earth sign all right. Um, the Tauruses, they have a, a determined quality about themselves. They are determined to uh, complete all tasks. They're determined to get over all obstacles. Um, they are practical planners. Um, and they love what they have. Okay. Um, the Taurus tends to relish in um the earthly pleasures you know um anything that they can see touch taste smell or hear um if if uh, a taurus may love to hear good music you know a uh, taurus may love a nice sweet smelling um um cologne or a perfume a uh, taurus may uh uh, may be visually stimulated stimulated um the physical aspect uh whatever is pleasing to the eye they love it um some tauruses uh they love food they may tend to overeat <laughs> you know um some tauruses they just they overindulge in earthly pleasures you know um and that's a bad quality, um, the Tauruses. Don't overindulge, Tauruses. You know, it's okay to get your pinnacles because you uh, practical, practically plan to do that. Um, but don't go overboard because you're not going to hurt anyone but yourselves. Okay, Tauruses? Um, also, uh, Taurus pr uh, tend to procrastinate a lot. They tend to put things on the back burner, um, but it's always in their uh, their mind's eye. Uh, they are deter determined to get it done, but they may take a while to do it. But it's going they're going to complete the 
complete the task. Um, it's like if you ever see, um, you see the cartoons or, you know, where the bull is laying in the field amongst the flowers and watching the cows jump around and everything, you know. That's what a Taurus is. The Taurus likes to relax once they've uh, got all the toys and everything that they want. And they like to uh, visually see what they have. They love what they have. Um, and they... Um, They'll sit and just lay and swat flies with the tail, you know, just chill out, you know, instead of doing things that they know they need to do, you know, like protect the cows and everything like that. You know, they just want to sit and see and sit around and just relish and look like, look at, look, look, look at my habitat. Look at how grand this is. I did this, you know, but um, you have to smack the Taurus on the ass. They continue to be stubborn. They're going to move at their own pace. Uh, there's nothing you can do. You don't care how you, how much you fuss or whatever you do to a Taurus. They're going to move at their own place, at their own time that they deemed. You know what I'm saying? Um, they typically have to be smacked on their ass or uh, motivated to move. But once they get to moving, you know, get out the way of the bull because the bull is raging. And whatever they set out to accomplish, they're going to do it. Okay? But, um... Try not to, Tauruses, to overindulge in the, in the pleasures of uh, the earth. Um, and I forgot about uh, touch. Um, touch um, whatever they feel, you know, so that typically uh, is in the sex arena. Okay? All right. That's my Taurus. That's Taurus the Bull. And happy birthday, Taurus. Uh, we're in your season, so happy birthday to all the Tauruses out there. Uh, I get along well with Tauruses. Uh, that's my that's my sister. That's my brother. You know, we are both governed by uh, Venus. Uh, of course, I'm a Libra, Zen Libran. Uh, we're both governed by Venus, and um, we like quality shit. You know, so I understand the Taurus. We have a lot in common. Okay, that's my Taurus the bull. All right. And of course, this is the Goddess Channel, and I pull from the feminine energy, because we need all the feminine energy we can get out here, because it's total madness out here. It's total chaos out here. And women, we are, we're sent here to counsel and govern and bring light to the world, you know, and heal the world. And since we're out of whack and unbalanced, um, the earth is unbalanced. You know, so it's up to us to heal ourselves and put ourselves back on our, on our throne so that we can balance this madness out. So we can get rid of this madness and bring the matriarch back uh, to his proper place. All right. And the goddess I pulled from is the goddess Oya. We have the goddess Oya here. And I want to thank this goddess for honoring us with her presence and thank this goddess for supplying us with her energy. Um, Oya is bringing us the energy of expression. So somebody has something to say here. This could be you, Taurus, that has something to say. Or uh, someone, ha somebody wants to say something to you, Taurus. Um, let's talk a little bit about Oya. Oya is the goddess of weather. Um, she, whenever she feels like it, she'll bring the storm. Whenever she feels it needs to be brought. You know, she'll bring an earthquake, she'll bring a typhoon, she'll bring the lightning, um, she'll make the seas roar, she'll bring a heavy wind, um, she'll bring a tornado, you know, um, she'll bring a hurricane. I mean, it's Oya, whatever she wants at what she deems uh, the reasonable time or what she feels is needed, she'll bring the storm. Also, she's the guardian of the graveyard. Uh, she uh, resides over the, the funeral um, she actually uh, guides souls uh, to their uh, proper place in the afterlife. Okay? Um, I want to say she's the undertaker. Okay? That's Oya. Um, her name in Nigeria means please consider. Okay? She also controls the wind. You know, like I said, and that's the breath of life. Um, so, um, she controls the air that we breathe. You know, and without breath, you won't have life, you know. So Oya is really important, really important. And that's my girl Oya, okay? All right. And uh, what Oya has to say today is uh, she's talking about energy. 
she's talking about energy um someone um needs some energy someone wants somebody's energy for what particular reason i don't know but someone is after someone's energies uh taurus this could be you after someone's energy or taurus someone is after your energy uh, once we get the tarot out here, we will see where the message fits. Okay. All right. I pulled the creative cocooning card. Creative cocooning. It says creative cocooning is the freedom I give myself. I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. All right. This person is at home nesting. This person, when you're in the cocoon, you're transforming. You're transforming into something new. You're actually renewing yourself. Look at that tree. Look at those roots of the tree. So this person is in tune with her ancestors. This person is at home uh, venerating her ancestors, talking to her spirit guides, talking to her angels, talking to the divine mother, uh, conversing with the universe. This person is totally in tune, encapsulated with her ancestors. Um, and she's created a nest for herself. And in her nest, she's peaceful and she's regenerating herself. Uh, maybe she went through a hard time and she's healing from something. But whatever it is, she's gotten through it. She's gotten through it. And when she busts out on the scene, it's going to be a totally new person. All right. She's peaceful and she's calm. Um, she has great energy around her. And her ancestors are ten toes. Got the ten toes down behind her. Okay. Um, you have the twelve that's breaking down two or three. So she's in a relationship with her soul family. She's in a relationship with herself. She's in a relationship with the universe. Gone, girl. Gone. You hear me? Gone. Creative cocooning. And she is going to create. Uh, the solar plexus is open. And she's ready to do the damn thing. Okay? Over here we have the, uh, the fire guardian. It says ignite your passion. Okay? That's fire energy. You got fire energy out there. And it's telling you to ignite your passion. Okay. Um, it's time for you to connect with your desires. Um, you connecting with your desires, desires at this time could lead to something beautiful. You know, um... Your desires at this particular time is on point. The universe wants you to go with it because it's going to lead you to expansion. All right. Um, you're absolutely encouraged. Okay. Um, to go after your passions. Okay. Also, someone here wants you to be more open sexually. You got somebody lurking after you, Taurus or Taurus. You're lurking after somebody. But someone wants someone to be open, more open sexually. They want you to be open more sexually so they can have your energy. Um, the most, uh, the best way to trade energy is through sex. So you got somebody here that wants to have sex with you, sweetheart. They want to have sex with you and it's obviously that you're closed off to this person. And they want to tempt you to open up sexually. Um, I told you that uh, Oya's name in Nigerian means please reconsider. So you had to have been turning someone down sexually. Not dealing with them sexually at all. And they're telling you please reconsider. Please reconsider. You know and, and um, I, I also said that Oya uh, proceeds over the funerals. And she directs souls in the afterlife uh, to where they need to go. So you got someone here that thinks that you have what I call here wolf, uh, witch pussy. Okay. You have witch pussy. And that is pussy that heals. Okay. Um, they think 
that by having sex with you, that you would heal them from whatever sickness or disease that they have. Okay. Now, um, being that we have the energy of the Taurus here, I told you the Taurus loves to indulge in earthly pleasures. So, this person may have an illness. They, their vision may be uh, becoming impaired. They may be having a hearing problem. They could... Um, Overindulgent eating, um, maybe they're um, having um, an eating disorder. But what I'm feeling here is sexual because they want to have sex with you. So this person has been out here dealing with these Jezebel spirits, overindulging in sex. And this person has contracted something. And they feel that having sex with you, Taurus, or this could be you, Taurus, uh, put it, plug it in where it fits. They feel they're having sex with a particular person that their uh, vagina, um, their sexual energy would heal them. Okay? Their divine energy will heal them. And they want to have sex with you and they want you to uh open up sexually uh let's have some fun that's you know they're desi they're desiring you you know and um uh, because they want to heal they want to heal and they feel that having sex with you is healing for them <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah um it's time for you to drop uh your guard down it's time for you to drop all the uh, fears of shame or uh, fear, you know, all fear energy or shame energy or, you know, because that uh, that brings up a resistance of the creative energy flowing into you, you know. Um, but um, I don't know about having some having sex with someone to heal them. I mean, that would infest you, Taurus, or you, Taurus, you could be infested somebody, who knows. But someone wants you to open up sexually so they can get your sexual energy because they feel your sexual energy would heal them. And they want you to please reconsider because by you not having sex with this particular person, you brought a storm into this person's life. You brought a tornado into this person's life. You brought a uh, lightning into this person's life. You brought... Um, earthquakes into this person's life um they feel that they have to have your energy sexually so be careful taurus or um squish the rolls wherever you need it to fit okay all right um we have dames fly here we have dames fly which is uh Dames fly brings direction. You have the number six, which means relationships. Okay. You are coming across a major change within you or your life. You know, a change in your life or a change, change in you is headed your way. You'll be able to handle it because you are a divine being. Okay, and you're going to be able to handle this with grace. You know, you're going to be able to handle this uh, better than you believed possible. Okay, um, the dame's fly is here because she knows how, knows how to rise from emotional confusion into a clear vision. Uh, she is a master of changing direction. Um, she is not afraid of change. You are outgrowing the old ways. And you are in preparation of a new and very different way of living. It can feel unfamiliar or uncomfortable at first, but it's a wonderful sign that your soul is growing. Um, this is a message of renewal, okay? You are growing into a new and stunning you. Like I said, uh, creative cocooning. Um, you are a new person. 
you don't have the same thought process that you used to have. You're probably not eating the same foods that you used to have. You're taking better care of yourself. Uh, you are in a uh, hermit mode and um, you're peaceful and you're healing and you're calm. And you're going to be ready for this change. It's going to happen drastically and it's going to happen fast. And you're going to be able to handle it. Okay? You're going to be able to handle it because your ancestors are all around you. And you have a dynamic soul family. Okay? But it's happening. And it's happening fast. Okay? Alright? Um, so what you're doing is you are manifesting. Your manifestations are coming to your reality um, you're nurturing your dream seeds you know you planted your seeds and now they're coming into fruition okay and you're giving it um, appreciation and love to the universe for that and the universe is appreciating and loving you right back because they're honoring you with your manifestations all right sounds good and this is a beautiful change of direction for you your life will never be the same. It's going to be a better way of living. Um, you're entering a new chapter into a better quality of life. Okay? You're birthed in a new age. You're in your north node. You are doing what you were sent here to do. You're walking in your life's purpose. And you're ready. You the shit. You the shit, shit, shitty shit. Okay? You're walking in your life's purpose. And you're birthing a new age. I told you. The matrix arc is taking over. And you are a person. You signed a contract to come here just for this purpose. To heal this world. And you're doing your part. In healing. You know? You're one of the 144,000. You are the chosen. And you've been chosen for this particular time. So it's time to go after your desires. Um, it's time for you to, um, you're getting everything that you manifested. You're getting everything that you manifested. You planted those seeds and those, those seeds are growing. And you're birthing a new age. I'm so pleased and I'm so glad to hear this. Um, because this world is, the world is a ghetto. The world is a ghetto. Do you hear me? And ghetto is just a state of mind, a state of lack, a state of ignorance, um, a blinding state, a zombified state. And the world is a ghetto. But you have a hand in changing this and making it a new aspect. Wow. Wow. What an honor. What an honor. You're birthed in a new age. You're bringing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yes, dreaming a new world into being with your creation. All right, love to hear that. Love to hear that, Taurus. Okay. We got the mother of coins here from the Hoodoo deck, um, which is my favorite deck. Uh, I want to say that the um, the mother of coins is a um, I could say in the hoodoo deck a representation of the mother of coins in the regular right away deck would be the queen of pentacles. So you could be getting ready to start a business, um, whatever it is. You that Taurus energy here is here that Earth energy. So you finna get your pentacles. Okay, um, the mother of coins is a person that has a better quality of life. Whatever you're investing in, whatever you're putting your time and energy in, it's going to bring you a better quality of life. Look at her. She's laying in bed, got her king size bed plush. She's eating her bonbons. Um, she's getting all the rest that she needs. Uh, she has her spirit animal laying there in the bed with her. Uh, she has jasmine and lavender by her head. Um, jasmine and lavender is calming. Um, I put it in my bath water. It makes you sleep better. Uh, it helps you get messages in your sleep. You know, so ladies, take your uh, spirit, spirit bath and put that jasmine. Take your bath and put that jasmine and that lavender in there. And you'll, you'll see a whole new difference. It's calming and it's soothing and it's peaceful. 
All right, ladies. Okay. And over here, we got John Horse. John Horse in the Hoodoo deck is um, the, the emperor in the regular tarot deck. Um, but this jackass over here, um, they have a gun in their hand. If you guys can see that. They have a gun in their hand. They have a knife in their hand. And they have their fist balled up. So this person is ready to go to war with whoever and whatever, you know. But, you know, their main um, tool of war is uh, conjuring spirits, okay. So this is someone that um, is a magician. Um, this is someone that um, works with spirits. And they use these spirits to attack people that they want to go to war with. So this emperor is ready to handle anybody or anything that's going to get in his way from being with this mother of coins. Because this emperor feels like they're dying. So I don't know what type of dis-ease this person has in their body. But obviously it's from sex. So this person um, more than likely has an incurable STD. And this person wants this mother a coin. Okay. Because this mother a coin walked away from this emperor. Okay. And like I say, Oya's name in Nigerian is please reconsider. And this emperor wants this mother a coin to please reconsider sleeping with them. They want them to open up sexually. You know, they want to ignite their passion. They want to sleep with them because they feel by sleeping with this divine feminine, it will heal them. This person is sitting by their, themselves. They're in solitude. Um, they are uh, gathering herbs. Um, and all type of stuff, you know, they're trying to do it the holistically, holistic way, but I don't think that it's working for them, you know, so they feel that having sex with this divine feminine, who's going to change the world, it will heal them. They think that the witch pussy will heal them, but if you overindulged, this is your karma. Okay. Yeah, this person is over there. They're taking herbs and um, everything, you know, to heal themselves, you know. But you've overindulged in the pleasures of sex. You've overindulged in a lot of earthly pleasures. You know, you could be addicted to, to drugs or anything, anything that makes you feel good. You know, that is what this person has done. And they're ready to go to war with anyone that's, that's getting in the way to stop them from having sex with this divine feminine because they're trying to save their life. They're even willing to fight this divine feminine if she don't want to give it up to them. If she don't want to bust it down for them, they want to fight her. And I think this is piggyback, piggybacking off of my last uh, reading uh, for Aries, which was uh, rape intentions. You know, this person is sending spirits after this uh, divine feminine. This person is willing to hurt this divine feminine if she's not giving it up to him. They want her to please reconsider. They plan to seduce her. They plan to woo her just to get her to sleep with them. And if she turns them down, who knows how this person may react because this person is desperate. They feel that they're dying and they feel that this person by sleeping with this person because they are a healing divine feminine that their divine energy would heal them. Ladies. These are turbulent times. And these demonic people are desperate. So ladies, at these times, you're going to have to learn how to protect yourself.
these people sit back and watch you you know um make sure you have a male that comes in and out of your house if you're there alone so they can see that someone else is there with you because not they coming in there they coming in there learn how to, to protect yourself ladies learn some type of self-defense get you a, a weapon and learn how to use it okay because these these people are desperate the earth is purging mother earth is here and she is purging all these wicked men that have been dogging the women out and have been thinking they've been getting away with it uh, using them for sex using them for money just treating them just any type of way mother earth is purging herself and she's doing away with all energies that don't deserve to be here if you look around, you see people that are passing um, and you see that Mother Earth is not bullshitting. You know, all these loud mouth ass men that's putting, putting women down and all these narcissists. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So they're desperate and they are willing to take you with them. If I'm going to go out, you going to go out. If you're not going to heal me, we both ain't going to be healed in here. I'm going to take you out of here. They're in a me or you attitude. And ladies, don't let it be you. So be careful, especially these divine feminine. Who you lay with can serve your sexual energy for the right person. Don't allow yourself to be seduced by these demonic men. Okay? And that's what they are. That's what they are. They want to strong arm you. You know, they want to make you do something that you don't want to do. So that's where your self-love comes into play, ladies. Love yourself. And if it's something that you don't want to do, don't deal with it. Cut these energies out your life. They don't need to be here. They want your life force because they are dying. Okay? They are dying. The negative choices that they have made in their life is eating them up from the inside out. Karma is here. Karma has reared her head. And she's not playing. She whooping ass and taking names. Okay. It's time to go. Like I said in my last uh, video. Aries. It's time to go back to the Amazon time ladies. Why do you think those ladies got themselves so robust? They were working out. They were training themselves. You think they were uh, fighting other women? No. They were fighting these men. That wanted more. That wanted more. See, we created these men. We created these men because we wanted a better us. So we pulled them from our groin, from our loins. Because it's our base, from our base chakra, which uh, passion and sex and, and desire and all that lust, all that lies. So we were just trying to better ourselves. So we pulled that part from out of ourselves, and there the man was created. Oh, yeah. They done taught you the, uh, the um, beginning of life backwards. They done taught you everything backwards. Okay? We weren't taken from the man. The men were taken from us. That's why no matter what they do or how they treat us, uh, a mother is always going to have feelings for her creation her son okay and that's what these these men are they're our son they're something that we created and instead of them understanding that they are the lower half <laughs> you know they wanted more listen to their name they wanted more so that's how these men of more that wanted more. Are you listening to me out there, people? Those that have an ear, 
li- to hear me or listening. This message is not for everybody. But the people that it was meant to reach, I know they know what I'm saying. So these men wanted more. Marinate on that a minute. They wanted more. Okay. If you will look at the old maps and everything, you will see that all these countries were named after women. Before it was changed. Every huge landmass was named after a woman and was ran by a woman. But you had these men that wanted more, that used their uh, physical strength to overpower the woman. And they took over and renamed everything because they wanted more. And they were from us. So they know all of our traditions, all of our magic. And they took it and they used it against us. They created other people. Okay. These are our rogue um, priests. That went underground and created mercenaries to fight on their behalf. Okay? Marinate on that. Those that have ears, listen. These men wanted more. Have y'all ever heard that name before? Have you have you heard that name before? I, I you know, does that ring a bell? You know what I'm saying? Does that ring a bell to some people out there? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. And they took over the women that birthed them, the women that created them, and they used their creation to help. Okay. <laughs> Marinate on that, people. Marinate on that. So, women, it's time for us to go back to the Amazonian times. It's time for us to learn how to protect ourselves. And I've always said that there's going to come a time where the time is here. Where you're going to be uh, raped. You're going to be taken captive. You're going to be a commodity sold out there on these streets. You know? So ladies, learn how to to protect yourself against these narcissists as men. Okay? But we got John Horse here. We had this emperor here. That's conjuring up spirits, that has a gun, that has a knife, and has his fist balled. Because he's ready to go to war with anybody and anything to stop him. That's going to stop him from having sex with his mother of coins. Because she has that witch pussy. She has that divine energy. And he feels that that will heal him. He feels that that will heal him. But this is a divine feminine. And it's not going to happen. You went out there and you were overindulging in earthly pleasures. That's why you caught, contracted what you contracted. This mother of coins ain't got shit to do with the choices that you make. But you're going to make it her, uh, make it an obstacle for her. Ladies, protect yourself. Come what may, because these men are desperate here, because they see that they're falling. They see that the, the, the energy is shifted. And they're not going to go down without a fight. Okay? All right. Let's see what message the universe has for my Taurus here. Okay? It's time for a new age. 
Welcome to the new age. To the new age. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> yeah. It's time. It, it's here. This is the beginning of it. You know? The, the energy has shifted. You know? You know? Ladies. Get in touch with your spirit teams and your ancestors because they're going to protect you. And they or these men are no match for your ancestors. They're so twisted, you know. Um, they weren't thinking about the divine feminine when they were out there having sex with all these Jezebel spirits, you know. They didn't want to uh, rise up to the occasion and be the man that completed the woman. Because that's why we took them from our loins so that they could grow and get the, um, the attributes we needed to bring them back to us and become one and we can be complete. Uh, we were trying to help our lower half and our lower half turned on us. They wanted more. They wanted more. And that's where their name came from. Okay? That's where their name came from. All right? All right. Now, marinate on that. You know, I know a lot of people are going to be upset with me, but hey, ain't no secrets here. You know, this is in Libra, and I'm going to tell you like a T.I. is. You know, that's why a lot of people don't want me to be recognized or listened to. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hey. This is my purpose. And I'm meant to do this. Okay? All right. What divine healing message do you have for my Taurus spirit? Honor us with your wisdom today for a divine healing message for the zodiac sign of Taurus. I mean, it's sad. It's sad. But if we, if we, if. We need to get rid of the, the, the ones that uh, turn rogue on us. Because it's not all. It's not all. You know. It's not all. They were the original pygmies guys. You know. Um, which the term was pick me. But through uh, different dialects it turned into pygmy. You know. And they were healing themselves. We were. Uh, giving them trials, you know, to better themselves and um, experience different things to grow. And the ones that were growing, um, they were like, pick me. I'm better. I'm better. Pick me. And we will pick them. And those are the ones that we brought to ourselves. And those are the ones that we decided to uh, come together with to complete us and create, make a creation, you know. But the ones that didn't... Um, Step up and be where we knew they, we thought that they could be or thought that they could rise to. We didn't deal with them. You know, and they were mad. They were mad. Instead of rising to the occasion and being balanced and learning what they needed to learn, you know, they went rogue on us. And they got mad because we wouldn't pick them. And they created their own creation, their own, they created mercenaries. To help them overtake us. And these, mercenary, these mercenaries were stripped of all the, had no souls. They had no souls. You know, they weren't melanated because melanin balances you. They weren't melanated. So they did whatever. And that's what these men that wanted more created. They went rogue and created. You know. And they overtook the women. They overtook them. Okay. See, this is some prehistoric uh, for your ass. This is some prehistoric shit. You know what I'm saying? Before his story started. <laughs> history is his story. I'm telling you her story. Okay. It was her story before it was his story. It was her story hundreds of thousands of years before he was even thought of you know we're goddesses out here okay ladies 
and we was just trying to elevate ourselves, you know. <laughs> and our lower halves turned on us. <laughs> Show the mercenaries our magic because they are part of us. So they know how we protect ourselves, how we, uh, what magic we have. Yeah, they did that. They did that shit. They did that shit because they wanted more. You ain't gonna pick me? Okay. I'm gonna strong arm you. And we're gonna take whatever it is that we want. We're gonna take your land. We're gonna take your identity. We're gonna um, make you be beneath us. Okay? So that's how the patriarchy started. And that's how history came to play. But way before it was his story, it was her stories, ladies. Okay? So it's time. We're returning back to that. And you got men out there that just ain't going to let it go down. You know? And you got a lot of brothers out there that's like, hey, this is what's meant to be. You're supposed to honor a woman and love a woman and uplift your woman, you know? If you look at certain cultures, look how they treat these women. Look how they treat them. <laughs> you are beneath them. That's what they wanted you to be. Okay? Because they wanted more. They wanted more. They wanted more. <laughs> Say. Let's get this bitch out of here. You know. It's time to have some truth out of here, people. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to be truthful. If we want to change the world that we live in. All the golden ages and everything. Women ran that. <laughs> okay. They call it prehistory. Prehistoric times, yes, before his story came to play. Okay? <laughs> you got to be careful what they teach you in these uh, books in school. I mean, you need to learn how to be your own detective and learn how to dodge the hijack. Okay? Uh, people are so indoctrinated that they just don't have common sense. Common sense is not so common, you know. <laughs> That's where the word sacral comes from, what I name my channel after. All right. Common sense is not so common. Intelligence is not so common. Okay. And that's sad, but it's true. All right. Hmm. Look at that. King of Pentacles in reverse. This person is in total devil energy. This person is toxic as hell. You see that wolf laying by him? I'm going to turn it up so you can see. He's one with the beast. He's one with the beast. This is a person that... Lives in their base chakra. This is a person that is um, sexually motivated. Okay. And that, sexually mo that sexual motivation got him fucked up. Got him fucked up. Out there dealing with that Jezebel spirit. Uh, spirit. Instead of rising to the occasion and being the emperor that you're supposed to be. Walking upright. Being righteous. You didn't want to do that. So you're like, I, I, it's too much work for me to be uh, a good man to a good woman. So I'm just going to go out here with these with these hoes and just, I could do whatever I want to do to them. I ain't be finna be trying to run after her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be trying to learn no lessons from her and stuff like that. You know, from the divine feminine, fuck her. I could have this bitch over here. She look better anyway. You know, uh, you know, women of the world. 
women of the world, all them wigs and um, uh, eye, eye makeup, makeup. You know, makeup wasn't meant for women, us women. Makeup was made for men to look like a woman. And you go out there, you're putting that mess on your face. You know, that's what it was made for. Do your research on makeup. But yeah, I'm going to turn this person back down. You know, um, yeah, this person is in total devil energy. All this person is concerned about is money. Pinnacles. Pleasures of the earth. Okay. All right. Okay, my viewers, give me a few seconds. Let me look at the cards and get the download from the universe. And I can break this message down to you. Just give me a few seconds, viewers. Okay, okay, my viewers, like I say, this emperor is has gone under judgment. He's already gone under judgment. This person is going through karma. So this uh, disease that this person contracted that's incurable, that's their karma. That's part of their karma. That's part of them being judged. That's part of their judgment. They've already went through it. And um, this Queen of Pentacles, um, Earth Energy, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, she has no regrets uh, moving away, uh, going away from this particular person to calmer waters because... I know she's glad she did now, you know, because this person was manipulative and deceptive and a liar. So this Queen of Pentacles, uh, someone that's loving and nurturing and um, loves the animals, uh, loves nature, uh, out working with the plants and the grass and sitting under the trees and... Um, um, could be a business owner, uh, could be a boss, she's a boss bitch, CEO, you know, she got her money together, you know, um, she's not going to reconcile with this person, I told you Oya's name in Nigeria means please consider, she's not reconciling with this person, and this person is frustrated, but this Queen of Pentacles don't give a damn about their frustration or whatever they want to do, she's busy working on, um, Birth in a new age. Okay. She's in the North Node. And she's working. Um, she's busy working. Worried about her money. And this King of Cups. There we go. What I always say. Stink ass water sign. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This King of Cups is in their feelings. Now they want to come around and try to date them. Um, try to get them a gift. Um, because this person is so loving and nourishing, nourish, nurturing, um, this person is very intuitive. This person is the Queen of Cups, you know. Um, this person is the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, you know. She got it going on, so of course she's an Empress, you know. And here they come back around now after they done been out here with this Jezebel spirit, and now they want her to. They coming back home to Mama. They're coming back home to mama because they need that nurturing. They need that guidance. They need that love. They need her energy. You know? And they running toward her. They running toward her. Because they don't want her to leave. But she left already. They coming toward her quick. And they got the weapon on their shoulder. Because anybody that tries to stand in their way, they going to think they going to handle them. You know? But this uh, this Queen of Pentacle, Queen of Cups energy is protected. You know, this person is not going to get their wish fulfilled. I mean, they look at this this um, this feminine like she's a star, a total wish fulfillment. But she wasn't total wish fulfillment when you was out there screwing all these holes in the street. You know, 
This Queen of Pentacles see uh, is not even trying to see this person. They, this person is trying to message this person. This person is not getting the message. This person is actually this 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 King of Cups is fucking annoying to this Queen of Pentacles. She don't want anything to do with him. This King of Cups wants a harmoni harmonious relationship with this uh, Queen of Pentacles. And they are scared that um, she's not going to be with them. See, this person is done fucked up, you know. They want to be in a partnership with this person because they want to control this person. A straight up narcissist. They want to put this Queen of Pentacles on the string like she's a fucking puppet. Because they know that she's uh, working. Um, on her business and her pockets tight, you know, she's, she, you know, whatever she's going to invest her, uh, uh, time, put up time and energy to, it's going to bring her abundance, prosperity. And this devil knows it. This person is a devil. This person is toxic. This person is a narcissist. This devil knows that. I mean, this queen of Pentacles pockets are going to be so swole that she's going to be a philanthropist. She's going to have money to give to charities and everything. And they know this. They know this. This Queen of Pentacles walked away. And now they're trying to figure out um, what can they do to get back in her good graces. How can they seduce her? Because they need to heal themselves. They want her to come back to them. But she's not coming. So they like, fuck it, I'm going to go over there to her. But what you got your weapon for? What you got a weapon for going over there to her with a weapon? You, you, you trying to hurt her? What are you trying to rape her? What are you trying to do? She don't want to be in a partnership with you. Your wishes are not going to get fulfilled. This person has gone under judgment. This person is not going to get a reconciliation with this Queen of Pentacles. You're not going to control this Queen of Pentacles in a partnership, you fucking devil. She walked away from you. It's done one bun. It's over. And she has no regrets. And this person is mad because she's not giving them any attention. They can't get a message to her or anything and they're pissed. They're pissed. This little stank ass water sign. This King of Cups. Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpio. And maybe this was the, because the King of Cups is showing up with the Queen of Cups. And maybe this was somebody that you were supposed to be with, but you chose to be somewhere else. Enjoying the pleasures of the world. Do not come my divine feminist way. All hoes are going to be left outside the temple. So go outside the temple and mess with them hoes that you've been messing with. Caught some, huh? You didn't think that you would. I mean, how come you didn't think that you would? I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. You worship sex. Probably got a sex. Well, you do. You have a sex demon attached to you. You have a, a, a demonic entity, a sex demon attached to you. And you want to come over here and uh, ruin this mother of coins. Ruin this queen of pentacles. Ruin this queen of cups. Stop all her creativity and everything. Because you want her to open up sexually. Because you want to vamp her energy. This person is an energy vampire. And they think that she can heal them. But this person is not the same as in the past. You have the dame's fire. They bring direction. And she's changed. Sorry you didn't change. You devil. But she has. 
So there's no need to be trying to figure out how you can get them in a partnership with you, how you can control them, how you can control their money and all this good little stuff. Because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I tell you. They want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. They think you're beautiful. Um, you're uh, embodying the Oshun energy. They want you to forgive them. And they're in pain. They're suffering. Because they fell victim to the Jezebel spirit. But it's not your fault. That's the decision that they made. So what the fuck does your demise have to do with this divine feminine? You made those choices, Emperor. You made those choices, King of Cups. You made your bed, not lie in it. And this Queen of Pentacles brought the storms in when she, when she left out of this person's life. Everything changed from this person when this when this uh, Queen of Pentacles withdrew her energy from this particular person. Everything started to fall. You took her kindness for weakness, huh? Because she's loving and nurturing, you thought she was weak. You didn't think she'd ever leave? Who the fuck you think you are? Watch this ass as it walks out the door. Because that's all you're going to do is watch it. Okay? You're not worthy. Pig me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. She's not picking you. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. On to the next one. We need somebody that can stand as a man. And know uh, the difference between a Jezebel spirit and a divine feminine. Understand the qualities of the two. When it hurts so bad, why it feels so good, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Felt good, didn't it? She was fine, wasn't she? Uh-huh. Got you caught up. You done extinguished your life over some a piece of ass. And I mean some raggedy ass. Some drippy ass. Some stanky ass. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? So protect yourself. Protect yourself, feminine, divine feminine. Because they're coming. This jackass is coming. But your ancestors are, you are wrapped up all into your ancestors. You listening to your spirit guides. They got your back. They got your back. See, the divine doesn't play about the chosen. And this person is chosen. They have a life purpose. They're sitting here to do something. And she's just sitting here not bothering nobody. Just doing her work. Getting everything she needs to off the ground. And this person think that he's so marvelous that he can just come around and screw. What have you done so marvelous that you think you deserve a divine feminine? You're tainted. You tainted your soul. It's over for you. So go back to your, to somebody on your level. Go back to your class. <laughs> <laughs> okay stop annoying messaging and trying to see uh, this queen of pentacles she's busy she's busy she ain't got time for somebody trying to control her for somebody trying to um, take years off her life by giving her um, an incurable disease she can't help you. She can't heal you. This is your karma. You've gone under judgment. So it don't matter how many herbs you go out in the swamp and get. 
you're not going to cure yourself. This is something that's been deemed by the divine. You brought this on yourself, bruh. You brought it on yourself. So whatever spirits you're conjuring up, sending this uh, divine feminine's way, they're going to be sitting right back to your ass and you're really going to be crazy. You can't seduce her. You fucking annoy her. You probably stink to her. The smell of you. The stench of your soul. So why don't you run, 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 run away, little boy. Get your ass on somewhere. You ain't man enough to stand in the paint with a divine feminine. You're not worthy. So you're not going to be picked. You fucking pig me. Okay. All right. See, we're growing, ladies. We're growing. We're growing and we're understanding who we are. We're understanding our position in this world. Everything began and it's going to end with a woman. Okay. So love yourselves. Give yourself self-love. And don't allow yourself to be victimized by these men that want more. Okay. Kudos to this divine feminine. It's more of us. The group is growing. Come join, ladies. Come join. Rise to the occasion. Get your energy high. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Show these men how this world's supposed to be ran. Show them how it's done. You know. We taught them the game. We taught them everything. They wouldn't know shit if it wasn't for us. Okay. This is where we at now. This is this is at the time that we're at now in this world. Okay? All right, ladies. Self-love is the key. Self-love is the answer. And don't be sharing your life force with anyone, especially in this day and age. You can't do that. Let these hoes have them. I know you think, why he ain't pick, why, what's wrong with me? He would be with someone like that. He has issues that he don't know a Jezebel from a divine feminine. So let him take his issued ass over there with them Jezebels and let them pop their boils and their sores around their ass together. We don't want no part in that. Okay? We, we don't want no part in that. All right, guys, if you feel anyone could benefit from this video, please share and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because we need platforms like these so that we can learn and take our place, ladies. All right. Well, this is what I have for my Taurus. If anybody hasn't told you, I'm going to tell you, I love you guys. You know? And we healing, ladies. We healing. We getting there. We getting there. And until next time, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I love you all. Bye-bye.